pair of anti-terror operations resulted in the deaths of a wanted man in Nablus and a preventative attack arrested a man planning a terror attack in Jericho. More from RTV's Steve Leibovich. It's been cleared for publication that the police Lao 433 Special Investigation Unit led a preemptive anti-terror operation last week in Jericho. Tasked with investigating national crimes and corruption, its Unit 33 specializes in undercover counterterrorism operations. Unit 33, along with the Shin Bet and the IDF security forces, arrested the 21-year-old suspect at his home in Jericho as he planned to carry out a terror attack in Israel. The forces arrested the suspect in his home together with additional terror suspects. During the operation, terrorists opened fire on the forces who returned fire. There were no injuries to Israeli forces. During a separate anti-terror op this morning, a gunman from the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade was killed in an exchange of fire near Nablus. The dead terrorist was identified as Amir Khalifa. He was wanted in Israel for two years. There were no injuries to security forces. Khalifa, aged 24, was wanted in connection with several shooting attacks he allegedly carried out against IDF troops. The United States and Saudi Arabia have agreed on the general deal to normalize ties with Israel. This according to a Wall Street Journal report saying that the agreement could fall short of diplomatic relations and Washington was quick to temper expectations. According to the Wall Street Journal, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have agreed on the broad contours of a deal for Saudi Arabia to recognize Israel in exchange for concessions to the Palestinians, U.S. security guarantees, and help in advancing a civilian nuclear program. The report comes as Israeli officials voiced concern over Saudi demand for a civilian nuclear program as part of the agreement. Quoting U.S. officials, the paper said there was cautious optimism that an agreement could be finalized within nine months to a year. The State Department spokesman cautioned there was a long way to go. We've had productive conversations. There's a number of issues that we have discussed, both with the Israeli government and with the Saudi government. Those conversations continue. I expect there will be uh, more happening in coming weeks. We've made progress on a number of issues. I'm not going to get into what the progress is, but it is still a long road to go um, uh, with an uncertain future. But it is a, an important initiative that we think we should continue to pursue. According to the Wall Street Journal, U.S. President Joe Biden has yet to decide what price he's willing to pay for an agreement with the Saudis. Also, according to the report, the Crown Prince told close aides that he was not ready to establish full diplomatic relations with Israel, like those established in the 2020 Abraham Accords, and was in no rush, especially with the Israeli coalition in power. Now, this is a topic we'll be discussing widely in the coming weeks as we're continuing to take a closer look at Israeli-Saudi relations, this time with journalist and senior research fellow at the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, Yoni Ben Menachem. Yoni, the Wall Street Journal is usually pretty reliable, and they say a deal for Israeli-Saudi normalization is already working on details. Do you believe it? I, uh, you may, might be surprised. I tend to, uh, this time to believe the White House uh, for several reasons. I think that uh, um, uh, Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman is uh, in no hurry to give any gifts to uh, President Biden, especially towards the presidential elections. And this is uh, because the way uh, President Biden uh, treated him and treated the Saudi Arabia uh, blaming uh, Ben Salman for uh, being responsible of the uh, murder of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, the Saudi journalist in Turkey, and uh, then uh, refusing to shake his hand and also uh, trying to distance uh, the United States from Saudi Arabia as a punishment. And uh, so I think it will take a long time. And the second reason is that I think that uh, something here is very strange. Uh, we don't hear uh, even about the, uh, any specifics about the demands of Saudi Arabia from the United States and Israel about uh, the Palestinian issue. And I think this is a major uh, demand of the Saudis. Uh, either the Americans are hiding uh, or concealing the, uh, the, demand, the Saudi demands, or that the Israelis uh, are uh, trying to, to say that there's nothing uh, significant there. But uh, for what I hear from my uh, Palestinian sources and the Palestinian Authority, 
there is a, a special promise from Crown Prince Ben Salman. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative, available on the web, Android, and Apple. To uh, PA Chairman uh, Mahmoud Abbas that he will not sign any agreement with Israel without uh, Israeli commitment for an independent Palestinian state. I don't see the right-wing government accepting uh, such a condition. So I think uh, this uh, agreement is still very, very far away. We're going to get there in a second. You're saying you're on the side of the White House. Washington is pouring cold water on the report and saying that the deal could still be far off, if at all. Might they go for a Saudi deal that does not include maybe a normalization with Israel? I don't know exactly what uh, what is the game uh, of uh, uh, Crown Prince Ben Salman. Maybe he's trying to gain time. Maybe he doesn't want to give this present uh, uh, of a normalization with Israel and uh, a security agreement with the United States. Maybe he doesn't want to give this as a present for Biden. So it, he will have the opportunity to uh, to present an achievement to the American public uh, before the presidential uh, presidential elections. Maybe he's he prefers uh, to wait until there will be an, another uh, president in the White House that he will be able to to give him the, this present, maybe a Republican uh, president. So uh, he's trying to gain time and uh, drag his feet in these negotiations. So I think there's still a long way, way to go. Yoni, and, uh, some speak of normalization and others, a full peace agreement like there was with Abraham Accords, could full peace be done in stages? Of course, peace can be uh, done in stages, but uh, it's very alarming that, uh, according to a few reports, uh, Crown Prince Ben Salman doesn't uh, want uh, such an agreement with Israel. Uh, uh, what is he trying to do, to have cold peace with Israel? Uh, maybe he's afraid of the uh, reactions uh, to such an agreement from Iran or from the Palestinians, or from uh, other extreme Arab countries. This is very alarming. If there should be uh, an agreement between uh, Israel and normalization and uh, in Saudi Arabia, and they really want a, a peace with Israel, it should be a peace treaty, not a normalization agreement. It should be full peace. This is what Israel should demand. Of course. Now, you mentioned the Palestinians. They're poorly promoting the deal with the Saudis. If there is enough in it for them, what are your thoughts about that? I think that uh, Saudi Arabia is the leader of the Sunni world uh, and uh, the two most important places for Islam, uh, Mecca and Medina, are in Saudi Arabia. They are the leaders of the Muslims, most of the Muslims in the world. Uh, and uh, I don't think that uh, they will give up the rights of what is considered to be the rights of the Palestinians. I think that uh, uh, Palestinians know that and they are sitting quietly now. They don't want to uh, make any problems. They are waiting to uh, see what will be said uh, eventually in the agreement. But uh, I think the latest uh, statement uh, of the um, uh, Saudi uh, foreign minister on January, I think, about this issue was that uh, there will be no peace with Israel, no normalization without a commitment for independent Palestinian state. Now, shortly, Yoni, the Saudis are insisting 